Hey guys, Doug here. Well, uh, we had a server restart not too long ago, so uh, we're now running 1.8, and uh, this is what I've been working on eh, about f the last four days or so. Uh, I need a compass. Let me see. Da -da -da. All right. So uh, I built this dome under the water. And uh, if you saw my last my video of the original underspawn, that's what I, kind of the feeling I was trying to go for. And I have these eight shops that are available. And uh, here's Miles looking around, looking at the shops. And uh, if we go down the stairs. We also have these stalls. They're not that large, but they have some uh, storage attached to them. Oh, come on, Miles. Uh, and uh, the, these ones have a big side room instead of a basement. I don't. They could have a basement. I just did a side room instead. And uh, so uh, this dome. Uh, I don't know how to use World Edit to make domes, so uh, it all by hand. Made it a lot easier by creative mode. And, uh, well, let's go down here. Go down the tunnel. And you see this uh, red wool? Well, should, I should be getting a message, let's see. Warning, approaching PvP zone. Alright, now we're in the PvP arena. Just uh, made another underwater dome. And I've also got an observation deck up here, if anybody wants to watch. And how I did this... Oh, and uh... Also I've got some PvP gladiator storage down here with and uh, I got quite a bit of room left over I don't know and how I have that storage down there without it being PvP is uh, this zone is from the floor and then it only goes like three up like let's see I can fly and now now I'm out of the PvP and uh, and what else? Like I said, I've only been working on this a couple days. Then we go up here. And this is kind of the garden. This kind of lame little, little thing. It's only got a couple trees. But it's kind of nice. Better than a... Another fountain in the middle. And uh, this is my shop that I made. And I'm slowly transferring all my stuff over. And I'm, I'm pretty proud of these doors. It took me quite a bit of thinking to get them to work right. Not, you know, the double doors isn't all that impressive, but I'll, also if someone's like stuck in here when I close. My pressure plates that activate just those double doors. So I'll show you how those work in a little bit. And also, down here, I've got my storage. It's uh, the same concept as my last one. Just put the button in the floor that time because all my wiring is under. But uh, it's exactly. I think it's exactly as many uh, chests as my last one. Um, I'm slowly just moving everything back. And to get out, you have to step over the pressure plates. Here's it. And it's exactly the same as last time. Except it starts actually on both sides. So it's 
a lot quicker. It's just uh, repeaters that activate pistons above and below that pist that point that push a block in above the the chest. And well, I'll show you how it works. I got this area down here. I don't really know what to do with. All right, so here's the chest system. Uh, the pressure plates are right above this wire, right? There's wire on top of these blocks. Pressure plates right up there. So when you step on that, it uh, pushes this block over. So it uh, it completes the circuit. This is just a piston-based RS nor latch. And the button is right up up here, so it activates this piston and it de uh, deselects RS nor latch. And a uh, wire goes right up here into a vertical transmission. And, uh, okay, here. Here's how the, the doorway works. I have the lever that uh, it, the lever's actually right here and it's got a single block of redstone which will power this block which will turn on that repeater it splits into two different repeaters and then the pressure plates are right here completely segregated from the other side and uh, and it comes down here and uh, right up here there's a there's a torch then right up here there's a torch stuck on the wall and also it's got a repeater so it makes one of these torches inverted and one not inverted I guess I guess that kind of makes sense and uh, it's exact exactly the same as on the other side And well, let's go check out what this looks at, like from up, up top. Oh, I built one of my towers. I like I like the look of them, so I I built them in ever built them in every world that I've been in. And uh, I've got the new stone brick. I don't know if you realize I have it going throughout as a floor. I think it looks best as a a paver or a or a stone you know stone floor. But uh, let's see what we got. That's the big dome. The first one with all the shops and stuff in it. And down here, that's the PVP dome. And right there, that's the dome with my little shop and the storage going into the dirt. And uh, I've, got, uh, I've got quite a bit of land already... Already... Uh, saved for my little complex it's not our true city it's not a true city uh, in in the you know how you would probably describe it but uh, nobody's really taken up my offer I said uh, you know I'll, I've got a large area all saved up and I'll I'll give you some but uh you know it won't be bedrock to sky limit it'll might be uh bedrock to just under the water if they really want to make something above the water then not very far above the water yep. but uh hopefully this place will really take off in the next couple of days it's only like i said maybe three maybe four days old oh i got a sheepy Uh, let's see. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, th if, thanks for watching. I'll uh, try to do updates if 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 I have do anything that's worth updating. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my tour of uh, my underwater complex. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.